Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I am going to test and check the health of uh, a bunch of used SSD. Um, so I do buy used SSD all the time. Um, I tend to buy the Intel uh, data center series. These are the DC series from eBay. Um, the, the failure rate on the DC series Intel has been so low. I actually um, probably have used close to 200 of them uh, in my um, data center facility for all the different servers that I have and probably have like one or two at the most. I think it's just one over 200 that has failed. And these are drive that I use day in and day out and, and, and there are data written to it um, and, and uh, written and read uh, from it from busy servers. Anyhow, um, I have a, uh, a stack of uh, drive here and every time I receive them from um, the seller on eBay, what they claim may not be exactly the same as what I found out here. So therefore I have to test them. So I already tested a stack here and I decided to stop and, and create this video because I think this is gonna be useful uh, of how I test this. So there are about four steps that I'm gonna go through. Um, and uh, the first one is, is going to be hooking up this uh, drive to a regular motherboard. Okay, so this is step one. Um, I'm using just a regular motherboard. Um, I have this on my test bench. This is just a cheap motherboard. Um, and all you have to do is, is make sure that it has a, a serial ATA drive uh, attachment or SATA connector. Um, attach both the power and the data connection and power it on. Okay, step two is to open up disk utility uh, on whatever operating system that you're using. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu right here, and uh, disk utility is already here on my sidebar. I just launched it, and make sure that you select the correct disk. This is the correct disk right here. And uh, all you have to do now is uh, click on this particular um, three button here, Go to the smart data and access the uh, smart data analysis and self test. And I'm going to explain the third step, which is uh, how to read and what is uh, the most important statistics that you need to concentrate on here. Okay, so the next step is to um, look at all the statistics here. Let's uh, try to make it as large as possible. And let me zoom in here. So. I've been told that these drives are about one year old. So they are, so that is pretty accurate. Um, there is zero sectors relocated or marked bad, so that's good. Uh, and um, so the, the power on hours is definitely the, um, the most important uh, factor for SSD. I really would like to have something that is no more than two years, even though SSD uh, have the MTBF mean time between failures for hundreds of years. <clears throat> I think <clears throat> most SSD says a hundred year, but I really want it to be uh, lower than two years uh, for me not to worry about it. Power on cycle, <clears throat> this is pretty excessive, but it doesn't really matter. But I, I mean, that this tells me that this SSD was probably used as a desktop and it's probably turned on and off um, what is that about three four times a day pretty insane but it's all right um, and then other than those I'm going to try to sort it oh uh, this one I cannot sort it but anyway just look through all these pre-fail type um, statistics like this one right here whether it has any fault on the chip it does not everything is good it's okay uh, oh yeah, so scan up and down and look at this column here. Everything has to be says okay. And the overall assessment also, this one says okay. Um, and then again, go down and, and see all the pre-fail type of errors and see if there's any error. This is end-to-end -end error and it's zero, that's good. Um, the temperature is good. Airflow obviously is good. Um, so all of these Statistics like this one right here is endurance remaining. It's also good. 
So the only thing bad about this particular drive is that it's one year and two months old. But other than that, it's a very healthy SSD drive. Uh, power cycle is quite high. And, uh, but this is a DC series, which is pretty confusing. Yeah, so somebody must have bought this for a server or either the server was not healthy and it was cycling. I don't know what's going on. Usually the power cycle count for um, a server with a DC series, data center series SSD for a year, probably in the low 20s. Yeah, this is a little bit excessive. But anyhow, um, I buy SSD drive used on eBay and I'm gonna put a link in the description. Um, I would appreciate if you would like to do the same, uh, to buy SSD drive from eBay for about half the price or less than half the price. Please use my link and uh, it helps support this channel. Um, I also, I'm going to create another video, um, why not to buy SSD new and, and I'll give the reasons why I buy SSD from eBay used. Um, yeah, so I have a lot of SSD here to test. And these are all 480 gig and the uh, 480 gigabyte has been the uh, sweet spot uh, right now and um, yeah so uh, it's been a good deal uh, thank you for watching and if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up like and share and subscribe thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you